week eight. All the wood, except for these front ones, has all been taken down. Look how nice and clean it is in here. The white stuff you see, that's all the foam that we showed you being put in several weeks earlier. They're gonna be putting on the first coat of paint this week. Their tent did not survive the rain. Um, they should have taken it down because honestly they weren't using it because they've been sleeping inside. So we're in the bathroom. Um, we do have the natural light from here, from this little, be like a little courtyard um, into the shower. However, um, it's pretty dark if you look over there. We're waiting to see if it lightens up with the white paint because our builder said, you know what, we can do it. It'll be an easy fix, but let's just see how it looks once the paint's in there to lighten it up. They have this room prepped, so there's just like the wood. There's gonna be a new crew coming in just to do the plastering, like the white in the room. So this will be the first the first one. So that's separate from our, our three guys. One of the things I noticed yesterday is that the water, the rainwater, settled right here where that bottle is. But that's something I am going to bring up to the contractor because the drain is here and over there. There are perks to building in rainy season. You can find stuff like, like tomorrow was saying, you know, where stuff is puddling or gathering. Or where your house is leaking. Yeah. yeah stuff yeah. like that. Important definitely. things. Yeah, definitely. So what we have learned too, or what we've heard from people, they have a one year warranty or whatever. Ours was even less, but they built like dry season. And then when rainy season came, they found all these leaks and they might be close to their one year or, you know, past their warranty, whatever that might be. That's something to keep in mind as well. Yeah. Where are we? week eight into the process how do we feel about it how do we feel about the contractor that we're using how do we feel about the building crew how do we feel about the project as a whole and how it's moving and the pace at which it's moving what do you say great great, great. it's good if you can be here to watch mm -hmm. the process um but if not you know you just need to make sure you have a good architect a good contractor who's actually coming on site to, to double and triple check what they're doing. And likewise, you should also be doing the same. That was supposed to be one of the first things that we did. However, it wasn't done. This part of the property is more elevated. We'll dig another hole and put it where the elevation is lower. If you look right here, you'll see some blue line. Now I can't tell you how it's gonna work out. I mean, I see what they're doing and it makes sense. How will it work? I don't know, but um, I am happy to see that they're doing that. Ahí dice impermeabilizante especial para. Para. Sí. 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 That fiber will aid and also to prevent it from having leaks in the roof. Now, I don't know. My guess would be that is standard. However, he took the time to point it out to me. We have a separate crew that showed up today. And I'm not sure how long you were because we had to leave and we just came back. As you can see the over there to the, all the way to the left or to the far end it's already done impressive it's like 6 30 a.m here i'm sweating i did have a shirt on but i took it off because it is muggy it's like sticky it might rain today there's 40 percent chance so we're feeling the humidity so that is it for week nine here at our little casitas. Good morning. Today they're um, starting to clean up and get rid of some of the trash. And I think they're digging. What we are doing here is to polish the concrete to close all the 
open the pores, the holes. open holes, mm -hmm. before we put the, the sealer. We have to do it three times. The first one with a 80, with a, with a, a sandpaper of 80, of the number 80, then of 150, and the last one with the 200 sandpaper. What I'm doing right now is just removing all the dust. So we have a clean surface when we when we we'll, so we can put the silicon. This one is important to do it with a, a foam roll because it makes the the silicon uh, looks better, uh, look uh, more. Uh, it looks the same. You don't have uh, any type of of hairs or something like that, a smooth finish. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and ding that bell if you haven't already, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below.